Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently old. I, I don't I don't have anything else. We're we're just old. <laughs> we're going to die fairly soon here and let's double check that our succession is good. It is good. So that's great. Now if I recall correctly, we had finished up most of our investment up along this direction. I'm just going to double check that. It's been a bit. So let's see what we've got here. Apparently our cat revealed some people's lovers. Okay, wonderful. So let's take a look through here. Yeah, there's a couple more upgrades to be done in this county as well as this county here. And then of course there is the county that is over here, which we just got. So that's gonna have some work to be done. However, we can get some upgrades going down this way eventually. A lot of these don't have the correct culture to be grown to level two this castle however does and this castle does as well and i would love to get a duchy building in here specifically a tax office let's get that underway cool new perk for the stewardship lifestyle and we'll definitely we didn't have avaricious okay we'll take avaricious <laughs> how did i miss that one exciting so we're gonna need to get some more upgrades done over here as well we should be expecting that we're going to have a succession fairly soon. We're okay for the time being, but it could be basically any time now. We're not going to found a holy order. Thanks. Okay, just checking through up here. We can definitely get this castle upgrading to a level 2 castle. That is going to be a fairly important upgrade since that does take a while. Ransom this guy? Sure. We'll take 10 gold. I like it. Cool. So at this point, our innovations are, are a long ways away from the next level of upgrades. That's good because we are going to have a, a gap time this time between finishing up all of our structures and getting that, getting that next upgrade. So that's very, very good. We're pleased about that one. We'll upgrade this guild, I guess. And we can demand a couple of payments here. 30 gold and 3 gold. Sure. May as well. No reason not to, really. I'd love to get this castle upgrading to level 2. And we'll actually do that as soon as we get our payment in. Which will be right about now. Beautiful. So that'll be great. And we're going to be finishing up these hidden weapon caches here very, very shortly. This city will, of course, be done once we get this upgraded one more time. So let's get that underway so that that is fully complete. For this castle, all we need is this barracks. Noted. Everything up here should be good to go. Yes, indeed. So we need this barracks, and we'll get that done now. Beautiful. We do need two more upgrades for our tower houses on this castle here. And we just generally need a few extra upgrades over this way. Sure. They even live by my mercy alone. So we'll get another chunk of gold there. And it'll have to be a camelry here. Not ideal, but it's fine. We'll put in a camelry there. Our heir is currently unmarried, and we definitely want to marry him to whoever has the highest stewardship score. Okay, we'll do something kind of like this. Beautiful. Okay, that's all looking good. So we have a mental break here, and that's okay for the time being. We don't drop down a stress level, so that ends up being quite good. This camelry will be done in six months. That's a ways out, so we should probably look to spend some of this money out over here. Possibly on these fishing net weavers. We'll get that going. Now, I believe we had upgraded every castle to level 2 that we could, other than perhaps this one. But there are still a number of these that are going to have to be converted culturally before we can get them fully upgraded. And there's also some upgrades that can be done down here, for sure. We do get a perk here, and let's just take Soon Forgiven. There we go. This cultural conversion is almost done. So that's fantastic. Do we want prestige or opinion? Um, we could take prestige. That's fine. 
So we're going to need to get these upgraded to level 2. But let's check in up here and see how these constructions are coming along. The answer is well. They're coming along quite well. In fact, we've finished here, so we should definitely get that underway. Six months. Okay. What are we constructing here? Sure, keep up the good work. Uh, we're upgrading the castle. That's right. I'm dumb. These need upgrades, but I believe there are cultural issues there. And yes, that is correct. So we're going to convert that culture next. In fact, this one looks like it, it, it finished up. I didn't notice that pop in, but that appears to be the case. Yes. So we will start working on getting that converted over. Ten years on that, but that does mean that we can start working on upgrades on this temple. As well as on this city if we had six more gold, which we'll have very shortly. Actually, this guy started it himself. Beautiful. That just saved us a good chunk of gold. And this guy did too. Amazing. So we don't actually have to do that. I love it. That is absolutely great. So let's check in on our islands out over here. That's being sieged, which is very rude. Okay, those are all underway. No problem there. So back up over here. Yep, that's all looking good. We're going to be finishing up our watchtowers here shortly. This guy's bringing us 50 gold. I love it. More important than the 50 gold, though, is the renown. We need a lot of renown. Ah, Christian faiths now have access to crusades. So that's going to be interesting, for sure. We can sell trivial titles, which we will definitely do. We now have the nickname The Greedy. Okay, cool. This city, of course, we need to build a desert agriculture in. That is very high priority. Getting those building slots filled on up. Someone was attempting to murder someone else. That's very rude. Okay, at this point, we need to spend cash. And our cash is beginning to pile up. So we're definitely just going to go through and spend cash literally wherever we can at this point. We are certainly getting to the point where there's not that much that we can do until we get some of these cultural conversions done. Once we get the cultural conversions done, we're going to be in a much better situation. But we can spend down our gold over here for right now. It's all looking good. I'm going to wait on... Actually... It's already level 4. What am I talking about? Okay. I was confused there for a moment, but we're all good. Let's just continue to upgrade everything down over here. We did just drop our stress level, which is not necessarily ideal, but it'll be fine. But that is our cash spent down for the moment. Fantastic. So this is being built. That means that this county is complete. All we need here is wooden watchtowers. Looks good. We'll grab toe the line here. And these are maxed currently, and until we get this culturally converted. This ransom is acceptable. Okay. Looks good. We're going to be finishing up our tax assessor over here very shortly, seven months. I would like to get additional upgrades over here, but it's all maxed out, so nothing to be done. We'll get this trade port built. This castle is about to be done. That one's a ways away. Okay, 40 more days. Even without our stress level, we're making 108.4 gold per month. Now, next life, I would like to get to the point where we are making over 100 gold without being avaricious. That would be nice. <laughs> Who cares what people wear? We're going to bump up our level of uh, stress here, and that's completely fine. Completely and totally fine. Beautiful. I just noticed that we're at 11 of 12 domain. So we could pull back one of our castles here. Alternatively, we could go for like this. Not a great concept. What about this guy? He has a 79% chance of acceptance. And if he declines, only a few people would rebel. 
I'm going to roll this. We're going to assume he's not going to rebel. I should not assume this. Okay, he rebelled. I'm not shocked about that one. I can't say that I'm shocked. We're going to drop a rally point here. We're going to raise everybody we've got. And who all rebelled? Noted. Not too bad. We're going to stop gathering, and we're going to immediately come up and look to fight this guy. Okay. We just gained cancer. We're going to die, and soon. That's awkward timing, for sure. We're going to stop moving here and leave behind our onagers, as well as a few levy troops. While the rest of our forces make their way up over here. We want to wrap up this war as fast as we can, because we're not going to linger for very long with cancer. We also definitely need to drop our stress level. So let's pipe met. That's pet might, not, not pipe met. That's very strange. And we can also seclude ourselves here. Okay, that drops our stress level, so our health is now better. But we're not going to last very long. I'm quite confident in saying that. Okay. We're going to head up over this way and look to fight them. We're going to catch something here. Beautiful. And we die. Okay. Awkward timing for the cancer, but it's not surprising. So we're currently making negative 25.6. A lot of that is because we've got some awkwardness going on here. Step one, we grant out this barony. Step two. This mosque. I knew there was something. There we go. So our wife currently is on assist ruler. Let's bump her over to manage domain. That actually allows us to bring this right on back. There's no penalty for granting or revoking barony t level titles, so this is completely fine. We'll bring that back up. Cool. And we can grab stewardship and wealth focus again for the moment. We're going to be switching off of that eventually, but for now this will do. We'll get a spy master, we'll get a chancellor, and a steward. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if we had some factionalism here, but I also don't expect it to be particularly powerful. So we're going to fight these guys and win. Cool. We should also get ourselves some secondary spouses. So all I'm looking for is secondary spouses with decent traits. Okay. Okay. Intelligent. There we go. Cool. That'll do. Excellent. And we'll make our way back down over here. How are we doing on this siege? It's kind of slow. No doubt about that. We can no longer convert a fave. Fair enough. Okay, so we're at 60%, and that actually ends the war. So that's perfect. We'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. And now the question is, are we actually interested in taking this back? Both of these rebelled. So the answer is yes. We're going to grant out this temple holding once again. We're going to revoke this guy's title. He's a known criminal. So that's absolutely fine. And this castle here is a barony. We'll grant that out. And then this up over here will do the same thing. We'll grant this castle. And then we will revoke this guy's title. And that gives us every main title that we want to hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. Just wanted to make sure that we didn't have one that was way off in some random location. Like Timbuktu. Who knows? We don't appear to have one in Timbuktu, so that's fantastic. This is what we want to hold. I mean, ultimately, we want to hold more than this. We want to get this castle. We want to get... I mean, ideally, we hold the mosques as well. But that's a pretty long shot, right? This is a very, very, very big personal duchy. Or personal domain, I should say. It's absolutely huge. 
So we can ransom off some prisoners here, and we will definitely do so. Will we ransom off this guy? I think it's fine. We'll let him go. Cool. So down over this way, I want to check to see... Oh yeah, we can definitely do some upgrading. This is maxed for the moment. We can upgrade here. And this one's already upgrading. Okay. Beautiful. Checking in over this way. This should be maxed. It is. Getting very close on this construction. And we can see we're only at 83, and that's even with the wealth focus. So we've got a ways to go there. We're ill. Okay, hilarious. But we're fine. No major problem there. Okay. So this county is now complete. This county is complete as well. So all we need over here now is this county. And it needs a good amount of work. We'll put in pastoral lands. And we don't have the duchy title here. So we can just work on upgrading these pastoral lands for the time being. That'll do. And then coming down over here, checking in on these upgrades. This guy escaped our prison. Very sad. We can get an upgrade going there. Okay. Looks good. We can definitely do more upgrades down here as well. But for the time being, I think we're doing fine. Like, with a new ruler with a uh, transparent turban. I, I, I like how the back face isn't rendering there. <laughs> Our new ru ruler with a transparent turban is uh, making a pretty good amount of cash, considering how new he is. So, I like it. We also had an issue of control in a couple of these counties. And I definitely do want to deal with that. So we are going to work on increasing control in Taza and Tin Malal. It'll be Taza first. And there we go. Cool. So the only county up here is now Tlemcen. I love it. And to be honest, there's very little that we can do up here right now. So that's fine. Checking in out over this way, we can definitely upgrade our hill farms. We're no longer ill, which is great. Okay, we're going to be finishing up our shipwrights momentarily. So let's get this underway. Guilds. Fantastic. So with that constructing, that is great. We can build quarries... And overall, we are just looking to make our way through all of these constructions. I would like to have everything be maxed out by the end of this guy's life, for sure. I definitely would like to start thinking about doing some proper expansion. But I don't want to develop, or rather, I don't want to expand before we've done our maximum development. That's kind of the way I want to play this one. So we're just going to continue to work on investing for the time being. Lots and lots and lots of investment. Cool. Okay, let's check in. Since we are currently fairly low on cash, let's check in on the rest of the world. Ooh, there's some awkwardness going on over here. The Byzantines have strengthened. Okay. So the Byzantines, I think, are currently the strongest in the world. There's a couple like East Francia and Medanpolid over here that are slightly stronger or similar to us. And honestly, these guys are too. But that's fine. That is completely fine. We will definitely ransom this guy. Farewell, my vassal. Okay. Economically, we should be by far the strongest. We can actually look around at that. So East Francia, 42.7. 30. Negative 40, 47.8. Their troops are up. So it's not really a fair comparison. 27.7. 35.1. We are mopping the floor with everyone economically. And that's what we want. That is exactly our current goal. 
Let's go ahead and upgrade our pastoral. Actually, I, I was going to upgrade the castle here. I was going to cancel that and upgrade the castle. We actually can't do that. Let's get our guilds building here. There we go. We just discovered chronicle writing, which is always nice. Was that something that was exposed? Or did that just kind of happen? That just kind of happened. We were on that previously, and we switched over to hoardings. That's right. Cool. So we're about three years away from coinage. That'll help our development growth. And communal government will be important as well. But for the moment, it seems reasonably fine. We'll continue to invest in our southern areas. At this point, I would definitely like to put in a tax office down here. Beautiful. And we'll get some desert agriculture going. And we know that all of these can be upgraded as well. Cool. So that's all gold that we don't have to spend later. I like it. So we're kind of wildly rich at this point, right? That's definitely a thing that's happening. We are ridiculously rich. 91.7 gold per month, more than double what our biggest rivals are making. So that's fantastic for us economically. Militarily, things are a little bit more sketchy for us. But I think that's more a factor of our size. And it's honestly not bad. That said, we haven't maxed out our men-at-arms yet. And that's definitely something that we are interested in doing. Let's go ahead and take It Is My Domain here. We'll extort our subjects. Don't worry, I'll have everyone pay. And I'm going to use that cash here to max out our men-at-arms. There we go. We also just inherited this, and we don't want it. So we'll grant that on out. Fantastic. We've still got a good amount of cash left over, so let's invest that cash. Fantastic. We're going to be seeing these homesteads finishing up in just a couple of days here. So let's get our Carver's Guilds upgraded. There we go. Anything else? Actually, yes. We can continue to upgrade our way through here. Beautiful. They put in archery ranges? Uh, awkward. Whatever. It's fine. We'll get desert agriculture building over here. I'd love to get this to be a level 2, but unfortunately, they still don't have manorialism. We can definitely get this monastery up to level 2, though. And so we shall. And we're just continuing to construct away. I can justify this exaction. Beautiful. Okay. We'll bump up our pastoral lands over here. And I would like to get coops going. We don't have the cash for it at this moment. But our upgrades are definitely ticking away. We're getting some massive benefits now. But we've got more to do. This county needs to be done, and everything south of this mountain range needs to be done. Including this castle here. So, that's a lot of work. I, I, I don't care about this. Whatever. Whatever makes you happy, buddy. Cool. And we're also hoping to see our vassals down this way starting to upgrade themselves. They have some cash built up. So, we're hoping to see that happen. But if it doesn't, we will spend the money. And it will be good. There's coinage discovered. Okay, so that was this one here. What was exposed next? Something in High Medieval. Guilds. That's not terrible. Guilds is fine. I would have preferred communal government here. But guilds is acceptable. Checking in on construction up over this way. We are going to be finishing up in this training field momentarily. So I'd like to get this meadow upgrading next. There we go. Perfect. 
and we almost have this culturally converted. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are just going to continue plowing through these upgrades. We are making our way through this very quickly now. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very... Hang on, there's a perk here. We're going to grab Paragelt. There we go. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisol, Kadra, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.